anticipation is growing for what's sure to be an emotional concert tonight at the Scotiabank Arena. This is the first time Radiohead is playing in this city since a fatal stage collapse in 2012. It killed a 33-year-old drum technician named Scott Johnson. The incident has had lasting impacts on the band, on their fans, and on Canada's music scene. If there was ever any doubt that Radiohead fans have been longing for the band's return to Toronto, here's the proof. Overnight, dozens of people camped out in chairs on air mattresses and blankets outside Scotiabank Arena, vying for a front row seat to what's sure to be an emotional concert. I was at Downsview Park for the last concert and I was really obviously sad and devastated at what happened. So it's really amazing um, to come see a band I've loved for like 15 years. 2012 was the last time the band was scheduled to play in the city, but tragedy struck when their stage collapsed at Downsview Park and killed 33-year-old drum technician Scott Johnson. Some of the fans here today saw it happen in front of their eyes. I kept looking at it and it, the stage really looked, yeah. Um, it was them, crumbling over. Yeah. yeah, and we just saw a lot of people leaving. I saw some people crying, yeah. <laughs> like on the floor crying. Um, yeah but it was a crazy day. Six years later, he finally gets to see them play in the city. But six years later, the band is still looking for answers. Why this happened, who's responsible, and how they can make sure it never happens again. There were 13 charges brought against Live Nation, Optex Staging, and the engineer, Dominic Cugliari. Um, and so with that court case breaking down, I mean, there have been no real answers. And without the answers, we can't ensure that an accident like this uh, doesn't happen again. Uh, so yes, there's, there's real frustration. Frustration that also stems from lengthy trials that have come to nothing, an incident that's had lasting impacts on Canada's music scene. We got a lot tougher when it came to the standards of building these temporary stages, not only from a, a, from a regulatory level, but from an industry level. Nobody wants to be caught in one of these things because the losses are terrible and the loss of life is terrible and the potential to you know, have your business completely ruined is terrible. No one wants to see this happen. In the meantime, fans are looking forward to the music and energy tonight and thankful that despite everything, radio had decided to come back to the city. I thought, well, Toronto is definitely never going to happen. Then when they finally announced it, I kind of... Uh went crazy I'll try and keep it PG rated but yeah um, yeah it was, it was definitely big news and lots of excitement and for the past four or five months that since the announcement was made it's just been every day looking forward to the show the concert tonight and the one tomorrow night sold out almost instantly the last time the band actually played in the city was in 2008 at the Molson Amphitheater now as for the lawsuit Ontario's chief coroner's office says there will be an inquest into the matter but no date has been set just yet